Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your favorite portal for online education. In the last session of measures of dispersion, I had given you an assignment to solve and find the standard deviation using the shortcut method. So let's solve it now and see what the solution is. The question is, a welfare organization introduced an educational scholarship uh, scheme for the school going children of a backward village. The rates of scholarship were fixed as given in the following table. And the ages of 30 school going children were noted and then you are asked to calculate the standard deviation and coefficient of variance of the monthly scholarship. Alright, so here as it is given that you need to calculate the standard deviation and coefficient of variation of the monthly scholarship, my value of x would be the monthly scholarship. Monthly scholarship here, which is given in rupees. So this is actually my x. The values here are 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And then you have the ages of 30 school going children given here. Now if this is x, what's my frequency? Well, I'll take my frequency from here and to get the values of frequency, first I'll have to write the age group here. Age group. Now the scholarship of rupees 30 is given to the age group of 5 to 7. 40 is from 8 to 10. Next it's from 11 to 13. Next is from 14 to 16 and lastly it's from 17 to 19. Now if these are the age groups, now from here I will have to calculate, let's do tally marking, what, let's see how many students who have got the scholarship are in this age group. So starting from 5 to 7 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So these 5, 6 or 7, all these are in the age group of 5 to 7. So there are 10 students who are in this age group. Okay. Next from 8 to 10. 8 to 10, let me again count using a different color. 1, 10 also included, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, well there are 8 students here, so 8, next in the age group of 11 to 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 students in this age group. Well, let me use the color which I have been using. So, sorry, this is 7. Next, in the age group of 14 to 16. 14 to 16. Let's see how many students fall in this category. We have one. Let me this time mark it the circle. Just to differentiate. Two. Three. Well, there are just three students. So, three students in this category. And lastly, in the age group of 17 to 19. 17 to 19. We left out with 1 here. Let me put a square this time. 
two. Well, just two. So in the last category, there are two students. And in fact, this is a frequency. So once you are, you've got this table in the form which we used to work previously, this is trivial now. Using the shortcut method, uh, that is step deviation method, we will have to first find the value of u to find the value. And we know u equals x minus a over h right so here we'll have to fix a a could be any of these five values maybe we can take either 40 or 50 or 60 let's take say 40 so this is our a let me mark this this is our a Okay, this is our A. Next, I need H. We know that H is the uh, the ratio by which uh, these numbers vary. So H here would be 10. So now my U would be the value of X minus A which is 40 divided by H which is 10. So the values of uh, u would be in the first case it will be 30 minus 40 by 10 30 minus 40 is minus 10 divided by 10 is minus 1 then would be 0 1 2 and 3 okay what do I need next yeah I need to find the product of u and f u multiplied by f and then I need to find the product of u square into f okay so u into f let me do that here now these are very simple numbers that's why i'm doing it manually using paper and pen instead of using excel or calculator just to make you re uh, understand that the shortcut method is very handy and you can do it even without using any gadget or any special softwares so here u into f would be 10 into minus 1 which is minus 10 this would be 0 next would be 7 into 1 is 7 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 into 2 is again 6 okay when I add them up okay we'll add it later on u square now when I square minus 1 it's again 1 so 10 into 1 is 10 next is 0 next would be uh, 1 again square is 1 into 7 is 7 square of 2 is 4 into 3 is 12 and lastly 3 is 9 so 9 into 2 is 18 and next I need to add all of these first of course I need to add mm, the frequency values to uh, get the value of n so sum of the frequency we see here is 10 plus 8 18 plus 7 25 plus 3 28 plus 2 30 so this is 30 adding u into f would be 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 7 is 19 19 minus 10 is 9 and then here it's 10 plus 7 17 17 plus 12 is 29 29 plus 18 is 47 so this is 47 okay and I think now we are ready to calculate our standard deviation and since we also need to calculate the coefficient of variation let's, for, uh, let's first find the mean the mean by the step deviation method we know the formula is a which is 40 plus summation u into f which is 9 divided by summation of f that is n which is 30 multiplied by h which is 10 so here these two go and then three ones and three three times it's straight away 43 so my arithmetic mean x bar here is 43 okay next what is the formula to find the standard deviation sigma it's h multiplied by 
root under summation f u square by n minus summation f u by n the whole square right yeah so the value of h is 10 and then root under what is this value of summation u f square is 47 so it will be 47 divided by 30 minus summation f into u which is 9 divided by n which is again 30 the whole square okay and when you work this out uh, of course you'll have to do some cancellations and maybe you'll have to, uh, uh, and then you need to uh, take the root when you work this out it comes to be 12.2 okay so the answer is this is my standard deviation and when you square it you'll get the variance but that's not asked here so the standard deviation is rupees 12.2 and what about the coefficient of variation coefficient of variation cv is the standard deviation divided by the arithmetic mean into 100 so that will be 12.2 divided by 43 multiplied by 100 okay just work it out and you'll get the answer <coughs> so that's all we have uh, in this uh, standard deviation and to conclude let me just summarize the shortcut formula alone because we have already uh, summarized the previous sets of formula in the shortcut formula we see we have of course the standard deviation and we have the variance standard deviation is sigma variance when you square the value of standard deviation you get variance and if we look into the thing the types of formula we have uh, the deviation method and we have the step deviation method okay and in both of these cases we have as usual the two categories we have the raw data and we have the grouped frequency so we call it as ungrouped or ungrouped or uh, rather I should say uh, frequency distribution and when you have the frequency given and when there is no frequency distribution raw data okay now in case of deviation we use D right and D is just X minus A in case of step deviation we use u which is x minus a divided by h so here standard deviation the formula would be root under summation since it is raw we will not have f so it will be summation d i square by n minus summation di by n the whole square okay variance in all of these cases the variance is trivial we just square the value so we'll have simply summation di square by n minus summation di by n the whole square now in case of frequency distribution this will be root under summation sorry summation f i d i square by n minus summation f i d i by n the whole square okay here in case of step deviation again the structure of the formula is the same except that we will multiply this with h so it will be h times summation 
uh, in place of d now we will have u so summation u i square by n minus summation u i by n the whole square and then the root of this and in case of frequency distribution we will have h multiplied by root under summation f i u i square by n minus summation f i u i by n the whole square okay in all of these cases uh, for variance we will have just the squares summation f i d i square by n minus summation f i d i by n the whole square here we will have uh, one suppose when you square this this also will be squared so we'll have h square summation u i square by n minus summation u i by n the whole square and in this case it will be h square summation f i u i square by n minus summation f i u i by n the whole square okay well so that's all we have in measures of dispersion for the subsequent topics keep watching edupedia world videos thank you